So then come to the sartorius muscle, which is usually considered the longest muscle in the body. Right? I mean, the, thigh, the femur is the longest bone in your body, so you, you, it would make sense that the longest muscle is going to be in this area here. I mean, that's not counting. Yes, well, technically, if you look at your rectus spinae, that might be a little bit longer, but it's, well, that's kind of like a connection, collection of muscles. Whereas this is one single muscle. And what makes it longer is because it comes and curves around like this. Right? So it's starting up over here again at the same place as the TFL, at the ASIS, and it's coming around, it's crossing two joints. And it's coming around into this area, it's called the pes tensorine. That means, uh, is it goose foot or, yeah, goose foot? It's, it's basically the inner side of the femur, I mean the tibia right here. And we'll talk about that again. There's a couple different muscles that all insert onto that same spot. Okay. And it's usually called, the way you remember it is called the sergeant, SGT, sartorius, gracilis, and semitendinosus. So we'll talk about those as we go. And then the sartorius, since it comes across like this, it's going to do a, com a com combination of motions. It's going to flex at the hip, it's going to externally rotate at the hip, and it's going to flex the knee. So again, this is external rotation. The, theme, the anterior thigh is going externally. Okay, so the sartorius is like this. It's going to pull up this way. Okay, and we can do some palpation and muscle testing and things to, to demonstrate that. And then here's... So here's the muscle right here. Okay, and this is going to be the pass into area right there. Okay, so you can see it's going to be the sartorius, which is more from coming from the front of the thigh. Then you have the gracilis, which is in the medial group or the adductors, and then you have semitendinosus coming from the posterior thigh. So all three of those come together on that one spot that pes insulin, which is kind of on this flat, bony area below the middle of the knee joint down here on the tibia. spiraling around the thigh. So there's from the ASIS. And then, so now they're going to try to show the movement where it's going to do that combination, sort of like it's tailored position. So again, it comes from the ASIS, it spirals around towards the medial part of the thigh inserts on the proximal part of the tibia on this kind of a flat surface here just below the needle and inferior to the kneecap. And it's going to help with hip flexion, abduction, and <coughs> external rotation because it's running this way. Right? So now we get into the quadriceps. Okay, so there's four quadriceps muscle. Okay? One of them has its own separate name, it's rectus femoris. Okay? And that's different because that one goes across two joints. Okay? It crosses the hip and it crosses the knee. Then all the other ones have vastus in their first name. Okay? So then you're going to have, if you have vastus in it and it's on this side, what would be another second part of the name for it? Medialis. Medialis. And then over here, Lateralis, and then <coughs> somewhere in between medial and lateral is what? Vastus. Intermediate. Oops. Okay. So lateralis is going to come more from the lateral side so that you can have the greater trochanter. So it's going to start up there, and then also that intertrochanteric line. And then it's going to insert, <coughs> all of those are going to go onto the tibial tuberosity, which is right here, this bumpy thing on the front of your tibia but it goes by way of the patellar tendon. 
Okay, so they all go into the patella, and from this point on, it's just a tendon that goes between the patella and the tibial tube. <coughs> okay, so this is tendon right there. So that's why they're all going to say, into the tibial tuberosity by the common tendon, via, via patellar tendon. So they all go to the patella, and then at this point, all those muscles are attaching to the same tendon. So they're all applying the same force across the knee to extend the knee. So the medial the vastus medial is not part of the core? We'll get into that. Okay. But, but it's, it's a portion of the vastus medialis. <coughs> It's a subdivision of the vastus medialis. We'll get into that. So. The BMO or B vastus medialis oblique. I don't know if they talk about it in the text, but we'll, we'll talk about it in a second. It comes up a lot when you talk about rehabbing the knee and doing knee extension exercises, and it has to do with the terminal extension of the knee. And we'll talk more about that in a minute because there's a slide on it too. So then, as you get to the vastus medialis, of course, it's going to come more from the, it's not going to come from such a far lateral spot on the femur. It's going to come from the intertrochanteric line and the linea aspera, which is a line that goes down along the femur. Right? And then again, it's going to do the same insertion. It's going to be to the tibial tuberosity by way of the patellar tendon. And then, let's see, we already did yeah, this. So here's where we talked about vastus medialis obliquus. So this part where you have on the vastus medialis, there's kind of a bulge of the muscle right here, down distal where the kneecap is. And it's important, it's what's called a terminal extension. So terminal meaning, like if you have a terminal illness, it's towards the end, right? So the terminal extension is like the last part of extension, like from here to here. Okay. So people are trying, the, the idea theoretically is that the massus medialis oblique is the lower part here that's more directly attached to the patella, okay? And if you work that muscle, it's gonna pull your patella medially, which most problems with the patella is that it's shifted laterally. Because again, when we talk about the knee, we'll talk about the Q angle. The Q angle has to do with what, how much of an angle the femur's coming into the knee at. The more it's out like this, the more there's going to be a greater angle. And when the muscle contracts, it's going to pull the patella out that way. So usually with rehab or something where you're trying to work your knee muscles, you're trying to focus on the VMO or the vastus medialis oblique. So a lot of people talk about that, but then I put something in here where some researchers say where they look at it and there's, there's not really anything. Some people say that's all a bunch of bunk. Just so that you know, if you hear about the VMO, that's vastus medialis oblique, which is a portion of the vastus medialis, and it's the more distal part that supposedly is going to pull the kneecap medially. So that's why you work it in terminal extension. And so that's the theory, that's the idea behind that. Whether you want to believe it or not, but just so that you're aware of it. So now, underneath that, is going to be the vastus intermedius, okay? And that's going to come on the anterior and lateral proximal femur. Okay, so these other ones, vastus lateralis and vastus medialis are coming up from the upper portions, then that's going to be a deeper muscle. It's just like when we talked about in the forearm, for example, where you had the more superficial muscles that started from higher up, and then you had deeper ones, and they had to start from lower down, because those other spots were already taken. So the vastus intermedius is going to come more from the uh, proximal part of the femur, and it has a bigger area of origin. And then again, it's going to insert into that same tendon by way of, I mean, the tibial tuberosity by way of the patellar tendon through the patella. Right. And all those muscles as, in, as a group, what do they do? Extension. Extension of the knee. But one of them has another act that it can do in one side. Flexion of the hip. Right. Because the rectus femoris crosses two joints. It's the only one that crosses the hip. So it's the only one that can do anything at the hip. Right. And what are the other muscles that we said flex the hip? Uh, 